Biosemiotics from the Greek bios bios life and semiotikos semiotikos observant of signs is a field of semiotics and biology that studies the prelinguistic meaning making or production and interpretation of signs and codes in the biological realm Biosemiotics attempts to integrate the findings of biology and semiotics and proposes a paradigmatic shift in the scientific view of life, demonstrating that semiosis sign process, including meaning and interpretation, is one of its immanent and intrinsic features. The term biosemiotic was first used by Friedrich S. Rothschild in 1962, but Thomas Seaboke and Thor von Uexkel have implemented the term and field. The field, which challenges normative views of biology, is generally divided between theoretical and applied biosemiotics. Definition Biosemiotics is biology interpreted as a sign systems study, or, to elaborate, a study of signification, communication and habit formation of living processes, Semiosis changing sign relations in living nature The biological basis of all signs and sign interpretation Topic main branches According to the basic types of semiosis under study biosemiotics can be divided into Vegetative semiotics also endosemiotics, or phytosemiotics, the study of semiosis at the cellular and molecular level including the translation processes related to genome and the organic form or phenotype, vegetative semiosis occurs in all organisms at their cellular and tissue level, vegetative semiotics includes prokaryote semiotics, sign-mediated interactions in bacteria communities such as quorum sensing and quorum quenching, Zoosemiotics or animal semiotics, or the study of animal forms of knowing, animal semiosis occurs in the organisms with neuromuscular system, also includes anthroposemiotics, the study of semiotic behavior in humans. According to the dominant aspect of semiosis under study, the following labels have been used biopragmatics, biosemantics, and biosyntactics. History Apart from Charles Sanders Peirce (1839–1914) and Charles W. Morris (1903–1979), early pioneers of biosemiotics were Jakob von Uexkel (1864–1944), Haney Hediger (1908–1992), Giorgio Prodi (1928–1987), Marcel Florkin (1900–1979), and Friedrich S. Rothschild (1899–1995). The founding fathers of the contemporary interdiscipline were Thomas Seaboke 1920 to 2001 and Thor von Uexkel 1908 to 2004 in the 1980s a circle of mathematicians active in theoretical biology René Tom Institut des Hautes Etudes Scientifiques Yannick Kurgoshin Dalhousie University and Institut des Hautes Etudes Scientifiques and Robert Rosen Dalhousie University also a former member of the Buffalo group with Howard H Patty explored the relations between semiotics and biology using such headings as nature semiotics, semiophysics, or anticipatory systems, and taking a modeling approach. The contemporary period as initiated by Copenhagen Tartu School include biologists Jesper Hofmeier, Kala V. Kull, Klaus Emesch, Terence Deacon, semioticians Martin Krampen, Marcel Denazy, philosophers Donald Favreau, John Dealey, John Collier, Gunther Witzeny and complex systems scientists Howard H. Patty, Michael Conrad, Louis M. Rocha, Cliff Jocelyn and Leon Kroizat. In 2001, an annual international conference for biosemiotic research known as the Gatherings in Biosemiotics was inaugurated, and has taken place every year since. In 2004, a group of biosemioticians, Marcelo Barbieri, Klaus Emesch, Jesper Hofmeier, Kala V. Kull, and Anton Marcos, decided to establish an international journal of biosemiotics. Under their editorship, the Journal of Biosemiotics was launched by Nova Science Publishers in 2005, two issues published, and with the same five editors Biosemiotics was launched by Springer in 2008. 
The book series Biosemiotics Springer, since 2007, is edited by Jesper Hofmeyer, Kala V. Kull, and Alexei Shirov. The International Society for Biosemiotic Studies was established in 2005 by Donald Favreau and the five editors listed above. A collective programmatic paper on the basic theses of biosemiotics appeared in 2009. <laughs> See also